Yo, good morning YouTube, good afternoon, good evening, whenever you're watching this video, welcome back to a very special episode of Easy Buckets. How y'all doing today? In today's video, we're gonna be talking about something that I guarantee you guys will love. We're gonna be talking about the off-season plans for the Milwaukee Bucks. During this year's NBA playoffs, there are so many teams that didn't live up to the hype, that did not deliver, and do the things we all thought they would do. When talking about the Bucks, they were supposed to go to the NBA Finals, and with them having a back-to-back -back MVP and the Defensive Player of the Year, Giannis, no one expected them to be where they are right now. The Bucks lost to the Miami Heat, the team that is currently in the NBA Finals right now, in the second round, 4-1. And oh boy, am I telling you guys this, that was one of the biggest surprises in this playoffs. And that only tells us one thing, that the Bucks aren't as good and proves to us that you can always get better even though you're at the top. The Bucks had the best record in the Eastern Conference, not just that, the best record in the whole NBA. And the fact that they lost to the Miami Heat, who was the fifth seed in the Eastern Conference, that says a lot. The Milwaukee Bucks have to be very busy this offseason. So in this video, we're gonna talk all about potential things the Bucks can do, and if you're a big Bucks fan and a big Giannis fan, this video is perfect for you. But before I get on with the video, I just wanna say, if you're new to the channel and love basketball, welcome to Easy Buckets. My name is Soom, and I make basketball videos every single day. I'm putting out six videos per week, and I guarantee you guys are gonna love the content that I'm putting out. So be sure to hit the subscribe button, and click this button right here, post notification bell, to not miss any of my upcoming videos. If you watched the video and enjoyed it, be sure to smash that thumbs up button. I really appreciate it, guys. It will really help the channel out a lot. But without wasting any more time, we're going straight into the Milwaukee Bucks offseason plans. The Bucks ended off the regular season with a record of 56 and 17, and as I mentioned earlier, they had the best record in the entire NBA. Better than the Lakers, better than the Heat, the teams that are in the finals right now. The fact that the best can be beat only means one thing, the best can only get better, and that's why the Bucks this offseason, they're gonna be making some moves. We're talking about their current roster going into next year, this is who they've got. They've basically got their main core still together of Chris Middleton, Giannis, Eric Bledsoe, Brooke Lopez, George Hill, Ursan Ilyasova, Dante DiVincenzo, and Thanasis Antetokounmpo. For the most part, these are the main guys on the roster, but they'll still be losing some key pieces. They could potentially be losing Robin Lopez. He has a player option. Wesley Matthews also has a player option. They'll be losing Kyle Korver and Pat Connington as they'll be unrestricted free agents. In this upcoming NBA draft, the Bucks are lucky enough to have the 24th pick in the first round, and they got that pick in the Malcolm Brogdon sign and trade last offseason. And I believe with this pick, the Bucks have to use it very wisely. When talking about areas that the Bucks lacked, I would definitely recommend the Bucks getting a strong playmaker, whether it's starting or off the bench, a player with a lot of defensive potential that can also score, and also a player that can consistently spread the floor and shoot the three ball on those driving kicks from Giannis. The Bucks have proved it before that they can use a late draft pick and find a gem out of it. They got the rookie of the year, Malcolm Brogdon, a few years ago in the second round, in this year's NBA Draft, the projections are all over the place. We don't know exactly where specific players will be picked. The Bucks have been linked to a Tyrese Halliburton, but I think he'll be picked before that. So the Bucks should definitely target a player similar to him. When talking about the biggest and baddest rumors surrounding the Bucks, we all know what everybody's talking about. The question is, is Giannis going to lead the team or will he stay and build a winning culture and they'll go back to back for another run? Which moves me on to the next part of this video, the priority list for the Bucks. And this is the first and must do, the number one priority, which is to re-sign and give Giannis a Supermax contract extension. The conversation about Giannis leaving the team is only because Giannis has not been winning with the Bucks, and in his young career so far, he wants to win fast and wants to win now. And if he feels the Bucks aren't that team, he might be on the way out. 
Giannis will be entering free agency next season as an unrestricted free agent, which means he can sign wherever he wants. And with that, every team in the NBA is going to want to target him. And that's why this offseason, the Bucks should and want to lock him in to a Supermax contract. They have the advantage, though, because when it comes to financial standards, they can offer Giannis the most money because they're the team Giannis was drafted by. Number one priority, do whatever you gotta do to keep Giannis there. He is your gemstone, he is your treasure. If you lose him, you're not gonna find anybody like him for the next 20 years. The next priority is a big priority in my opinion, and do what they gotta do with Mike Budenholzer. From what it looks like, Mike Budenholzer, their head coach, is not gonna be fired. He's gonna still be the head coach for the next season. And what he's gotta do is, you know, find a new style of play. Because so far, you've proven to be a great regular season coach, but in the playoffs, you have not done it. You weren't able to bring this Bucks organization to the NBA Finals. So that's why I believe this upcoming season is Mike Budenholzer's last chance to prove to the Bucks organization that he should be coaching Giannis. Last year, the Bucks made it all the way to the conference finals and lost to the Raptors, and this year was a big upset, losing in the second round. That's absolutely horrible, and that's why I believe this offseason, Mike Budenholzer is going to have to be a big part of a change of style, a change of play, and that's why I believe tweaking the roster is going to be very important, which moves me to my third priority, and that's improving the roster, maybe getting one big tune-up, one big star to join the team, and signing a key free agent. A free agent that I believe would be perfect for the Bucks is signing Joe Harris. He'll be an unrestricted free agent, which means he'll go to any team that he wants. And with his current situation, he will most likely not be going back to the Brooklyn Nets. The Brooklyn Nets don't have a lot of cap space to sign him. And in the Bucks' perspective, they do need a strong shooting guard because they could potentially be losing Wesley Matthews. If the Bucks sign Joe Harris, he'll definitely be a perfect addition to the starting lineup. He can spread the floor for Giannis, and as I mentioned earlier, they need a player like Joe. Joe Harris isn't that bad on the defensive end, and sometimes has proven to be a great leader on the court. I believe Joe Harris is a perfect pick for the Bucks. But ultimately though, what I believe the Bucks should do is make a big trade to make this roster perfect. I'm talking about a trade, not trading away Giannis, keeping Giannis, and bringing someone to help Giannis. After the Bucks got eliminated from the playoffs, it was rumored, a big rumor, that Giannis went to the head office and demanded a big meeting. We don't know exactly what this meeting was, but from what we all think it is, Giannis is either saying, I want out, or bring me somebody, or I'm gonna leave. And that's why I believe in this upcoming offseason, the Bucks are going to have to make big moves to make Giannis happy, which moves me to my priority number one, doing whatever you can to make Giannis stay. And I believe I know the perfect player the Bucks should trade for to bring and join Giannis. I believe the Bucks should target Chris Paul as he would be a perfect addition to this team, be a veteran leader, to be a floor general, and as they need playmaking, Chris Paul is perfect in that role. Chris Paul has been linked to the Bucks on multiple occasions because Chris Paul wants to win a championship and joining the potentially best team in the Eastern Conference could be great for him because he's not been successful in the Western Conference. If the Bucks can offer some pieces, maybe Eric Bledsoe, maybe a Robin Lopez, maybe a Dante DiVincenzo, and just do whatever you gotta do to fix the salary cap and get Chris Paul, I believe Chris Paul, Middleton, Giannis would be a great three to run the Eastern Conference. It was reported this year that Giannis is an MJ. He's kind of like a Scottie Pippen and needs someone to carry him. And who better to carry him than an NBA vet of Chris Paul who brought OKC this year to the NBA playoffs and he's done great things. Chris Paul is the perfect player in my personal opinion and he's a top priority if you're going the trading route. But if you're unable to get Chris Paul, I also believe going for Victor Oladipo is a great option. Oladipo has a great relationship with Giannis, and from what we're hearing so far, he wants to move on from the Indiana Pacers. And with him also being a free agent next summer, the Pacers are in the same situation. They want to trade Oladipo as soon as possible before they lose him for nothing in free agency. As I mentioned earlier, the Bucks do need help at that shooting guard position, and that's why Victor Oladipo could be there both offensively and defensively. And maybe an Eric Bledsoe and their 24th pick this year could be enough for that, because the Pacers don't want to lose Oladipo for nothing. Oladipo is the second option in my opinion. Oladipo still wants to prove himself in the NBA as he's been hit with multiple injuries and just needs a restart. And with the Bucks a winning team, that would be perfect for him. 
But yeah, guys, ultimately, I do believe the Bucks should be making a big offseason trade this offseason, whether it's targeting one of these stars. I do believe they do need a big tune-up, and what they got to do is make sure Giannis stays. Build around Giannis, make him happy, do whatever you got to do. But this wraps up my video for today, guys, on the Milwaukee Bucks and some potential offseason plans and trades they can do. What's most important to me is I want to know your opinions. Let me know your thoughts. Do you agree with me? Do you guys think Giannis will leave? Let me know everything you're thinking about the Milwaukee Bucks. But other than that, take it easy. God bless. And I'll see you all next time on Easy Buckets. Woo! I got angels flying.